so welcome back to learning partner in this video we are going to see how we implement the dependent drop down in react js right so what do we mean by dependent drop down someone may call it as a cascading drop down also just a simple scenario is let's say we have a state okay currently we don't have any data because i have not integrated api yet okay let's say i select particular state so i should get the district of that selected state only and if i select the particular district then only i will get the cities of that selected district right so this is nothing but dependent like this is my first selection based on the selection of these all my other related drop down uh, options will change okay this is nothing but dependent drop down so how do we implement this in react now uh, for state district and the city i have the api so you can visit to freeapi.miniprojectideas.com there in youtube controller you can find all the apis so here you can see from countries i'm skipping the country i'm starting with uh, state i have the countries also means country state district and the city okay but in the country currently i just have india only so that's why i'm skipping the country drop down so i'm taking state district right now so you can see gate or state this is the one api if you hit this api you get the data of states currently i have maharashtra and gujarat over here right so first task on the page load we just have to bind the state because we cannot bind district and the city because we don't know what uh, user is going to select once user select maharashtra or gujarat then we will call the city, district of maharashtra or gujarat right so first task we have to get the we have to integrate the api and get the data right so this is the existing project I am using. A simple HTML code is there. For API integration, I will be using XY so that I have already implemented. So let's start. Actually, I didn't have the XOIS installed. So let's first install that. So let's open a new terminal. Now we have to do the API call using XOIS library. So I'm uh, installing that. So command will be npm install exos. So let's enter. Now it will take some time to install the exos in your local project. You can see after a particular time, it has installed the exos. Now if you go to package.json, you can see library has been installed. Now we have to go to our component. Now here on the page load, we have to call the state list, right? So here, First time I will be creating a state variable where in that I will store the state list. Let square bracket state list set state list method use state round bracket. I will initialize with empty array. Right. So one method is created. On the page load, we are going to make the API call. Right. So we are going to need use effect. with empty dependency array because we just need to run that uh, state api call on only once now let's create a function which will be responsible to call that api constant get all state now this function is going to be a sync so let's write a sync now here we in this function we are going to make the api call so let's write that code let's constant result is equal to x await right because we have made this function async so obviously we have to add the await so x is dot get api call for get api call we have to we need just one url one mandatory parameter that is url so url we are going to get from the swagger so this is my url so let's copy this and let's paste it over here right now if you see the response of the api i'm getting the object and in that object in the data i have the actual array right so that we need to store in the state list. So set state list result dot data 
dot data in result dot data you will get the api response but my in my api response i'm getting object and in that object data is the property where i have the array right so our api call function is done now this we have to call on the page load means in use effect right let's test this code like on the page load we are getting the uh, we are having the api call successful or not let's test that let's go to network let's change the page just keep on concentrating on the network tab if I go to the dependent drop down, you can see two times API call is there. This is because two times because it's, it is in the development mode. But once you deploy, it will be only one because of the strict mode, right? So let's see the response. So now you can see the data we have got, that data we have stored into this variable. Now this variable will have the state list. Now we have to create a dynamic options. So this variable we will use. Let me just close it. So this is the state option state drop down now here curly bracket state list dot map round bracket round bracket item curly bracket return round bracket and whatever the thing we have to make dynamic that we need to write it over here now if you see the response you got state id and state name country id is also there but we are not going to use this property so array is of a array of object, right? So state ID, we need to bind to the value and state name we have to display. So for that here value, right? Option has the value. So that we need to bind with item dot state ID. So always try to copy paste, okay? If you don't, if you try to write it uh, directly and if you make the spelling mistake, then you won't understand what went wrong. So always try to copy paste and the state name, right? So let's just save and check if we have the state visible. All right. You can see whatever the data we get from the API, that data we have displayed over in the state dropdown, right? Now, first task is done. State dropdown is coming on the page load. Now, once we change the state, we need to call the district of that particular state. So let's check the API for that. So just scroll up. So you can see this is the API gate all district by state ID, right? So let's try it out. Let's say, let's try 31 state ID. So for 31, you can see uh, Maharashtra, some state uh, districts are coming. Let's say 32. For Gujarat, some other states are coming, right? Now this API we have to integrate. Now remember, for this API, we have to pass the parameter also. Whatever the state we select, that ID we need to send it, right? Now. On this drop down change, we need to call the function. So let's write the function first on change, ground bracket, on state change. Just a function name we are passing. And here we can pass the event event also now let's create this function because whatever the current value is selected that we need to pass that's why we are passing the whole event means change event here we are passing the change event so let's create this function now so second function now this function has parameter again from this function we are going to make the api call also so that's why async event again constant result Exoys dot gate again gate api is there right and let's copy the api url so this is my url let's copy it let's paste it over here now one thing you have to see this is the static right now we need to just make it dynamic so let's remove that after that in uh, with concatenation you can pass the id so in event event dot target dot value means whatever the option we have selected that value we will get it so event dot target dot value so our url will be dynamic right after that we have to uh, again one more state we are going to need to store the district so let district list set list use state 
again we can initialize with empty array right now this method we have to use it over here and the data we have to pass is result dot data dot data same because all my apis are going to return the same type of data right and whatever the data we have got that we have stored in this variable so let's do that option also dynamic so this is the state drop down district list dot map round bracket round bracket item anything item state district name anything you can give return round bracket option right same thing again value also we need to bind now value we have to check district id we need to bind because this is the district api so obviously item dot district id we have to bind and inside option we have to show the district name so item dot district name so this we have to copy and paste it so let's paste this code also so on the page load gate all state will be there but if i change the state something is not right so you can see api call is there let's check what we did wrong result dot data dot data correct only let's try to add a debugger and see what what is going wrong over here okay await we haven't added because this is a we have to wait until we get the response right let's just add a debugger at the top so that i can show you how url is getting also form let's select gujarat debugger is off yeah let's select maharashtra again now you can see in the event we have got whole event this change event but in that target you will get the selected value and value c31 right whatever the value you select now you will get the response in result dot data dot data that district got that district area district list you got and you are storing that in the district list and same we are using to iterate over here so you can see mumbai pune nagpur but if i change to gujarat let's continue so you can see gujarat districts are visible over here now again on the district change also we need to get the city right so let me just remove the debugger again we are going to need one state so let square bracket city list set city list you state round bracket empty array right just like this function obviously we are going to need a function constant on now it will be district change on change of district we are going to call the city a sing function because we are going to make the api call event we are going to get right same thing again constant let's write response over here it is not mandated that you should uh, write the result only it's your variable whatever the name you want to give right await exoys dot gate now let's check the api to get the city of the selected district so let's go to swagger now you get you can see here gate all cities by district id so here we need to pass the district id let's try one okay so some district id one will be there so let's copy this inside double quote we have to add this and instead of one we need to bind event dot target dot value so let's just copy this and paste it over here and once we get the data that we need to store in this variable city list so you let's use that method now instead of result it will be response because here we have created response variable so response dot data dot data and this function we have to call on the district change so here on change on bracket event this event we need to pass it over here now the dynamic thing options also we need to make it dynamic that will be on this variable city list let's use that city list dot map item 
return from the kit option value item dot let's check the data city id we need to bind to the value whenever you get array of object now make sure id you bind it to the value and the name you display it right so here you need to always bind the id whatever the id in case of district it was district id in case of state it was state id right name we display inside the option so let's paste this whole thing now if i select maharashtra so you can see maharashtra districts are visible let's select pune and city these cities are coming uh, these cities are from the pune district let's select nagpur you can see something else is visible let's select mumbai something else is visible now let's change gujarat right let's select surat these are the things visible right so this is just a, a logical scenario this is uh, mostly guys faced when they are working on the actual project because so many dependent drop downs will be there when you are working on the actual project so this scenario will be really helpful simple code is there nothing fancy or new no extra topic we are going to need just the api call was there right so now the list can be anything again i can take the country list country list then state list district list so many drop down chain can be there right so many dependent drop down can be there so this is everything what i wanted to explain in this video if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and like my videos. That's it with this current video.